The next problem we're going to look at involves calculating emissions from electricity consumption. An international NGO is trying to calculate its Scope 2 emissions from electrical use in their offices abroad. They have 16 offices in 5 countries, all with unique emission factors. By consulting resources maintained by DEFRA, the United Kingdom's Department for Environmental, Food, and Rural Affairs, they find out that the average energy consumption per square meter is listed as 404 kilowatt hours per year. After talking with their staff, they conclude that their average office is 9 square meters. Given the below information, what is the NGO's scope to emissions from offices overseas? Here we have some information. We can see that in India there are four offices. The emission coefficient is 0 0.944 kilograms of carbon dioxide per kilowatt, hour, per kilowatt hour. And we have the same information for China, France, Sweden, and Switzerland. Since this is a calculation that will require uh, five different iterations, essentially one for each country, we're going to do this one in a spreadsheet, which is typically how we do these calculations under all circumstances. So, the first thing we're going to do here is list out the various countries. We've got India, China, France, Sweden, and Switzerland. Now, up here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and list out some of the things we know. <clears throat> the number of offices. If we look back at the Word document, we will see that we have the number of offices listed here. And that would be four in India, two in China, three in France, two in Sweden, and five in Switzerland. We know that the average size of the offices is nine square meters. Let's go ahead and indicate here that we're talking about square meters. And that's across the board, nine square meters for each one. And we know from the UK's DEFRA that kilowatt hours per square meter per year are 404. Go ahead and drag that down. Okay, so based on the number of offices and the size of the offices and the kilowatt hours per square meter per year, we can now determine the total kilowatt hours consumed per year. And that's going to be simply multiplication. We're going to multiply the number of offices here in India by the average size in square meters, which is 9, by kilowatt hours per square meter per year. Hit enter, and we see that uh, in India their offices consume 14,544 square meters per year, um, excuse me, kilowatt hours per year. We'll go ahead and drag that number down. So now we know kilowatt hours per year. If we go back to the Word document, we'll see that we are given an emission coefficient for each country based on the generation mix of the electricity source. So we can see that India's is the highest at 0.944, so they're likely heavily reliant on coal. China may be using a bit more natural gas. France uses lots of nuclear, as do these other European countries, and that's why their emission coefficients are so low. So let's go ahead and put these emission factors into our spreadsheets. So India is 0 0.944 kilograms of CO2 per kilowatt hour. China is 0 0.788, France is 0 0.085, 0 0.044, and 0 0.026. So 
since we have our kilowatt hours per year consumption and our kilograms of carbon dioxide per kilowatt hour, we can now calculate kilograms of carbon dioxide per year. And that's done by simply multiplying these two numbers together. And we get 13,730 kilowatt hours per year in India. We'll drag that formula down because it's the same formula for each of the countries. And then all that's left to do is to convert our kilograms of carbon dioxide per country per year into metric tons. And there are 1,000 kilograms in a metric ton. So we simply need to divide this number by 1,000, which will give us 13.73 metric tons. Once again, that calculation will be the same across the board for each country. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this formula down. And then let's go ahead and get a total. Uh, we'll go ahead and sum these five cells. And we see that the total is 21.18 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. If we take it back to our problem here, we can see that that is answer C, 21.18 metric tons per year.